two, one. Good morning, Off the Bench Sports Panel. We're here back again, Faraday High School, Faraday, Louisiana, home of the Trojans. Last night, it was the Concordia Classic, the basketball version by Delia versus Faraday. Man, again, that matchup is everything in North Louisiana. It, it's it's as good as Washita Ruston. It's it's as good as Washita Neville. It's as good as Wiseman Richwood Richwood Carroll because they take pride in their to get to a place called greatness. Joining us this morning are a few of the Fairly Trojan basketball members. First is C.J. Reed. Montreal Reynolds, Sugar Watson, and Trey Jackson. What's up, young man? Oh, it's good, man. It's good. Just um, enjoying the great morning. Wasn't too cold, so I was really happy. I'm not a big big fan of cold weather. You know, make, you know, just keep waking up. You're going to get there. The older you get, man, the more that cold weather kill you. So I'm, I'm just grateful for me that it's a nice, warm morning. Uh, you know, and that's what it is. So, y'all want to chop it up a little bit? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Tell me a little bit about CJ. All right. What you want to hear, like? I, I, want, I want to know whatever you want to give me in relations to school and the activities you do at school. Um, I ain't no activity to do. Oh, yes, I am. I play football. Right. Um, yeah, I'm DM, receiver. Athlete, basketball, and point guard, all that. All that? Okay. Yeah. What about you, Trey? Uh, you know, I'm a member of the basketball team. I'm an honor roll student. Yeah, that's basically that's all I can tell you. Hey, them two solid things, man. Honor roll and you're a member of the basketball team that's ranked 14th in, in Division Four. that's solid. That that can get you to your next level. No no shame in being an honor roll student. No shame in playing on a good basketball team. My guy, Sugar. I play football, I play tackle, I play basketball, I play center. Okay, okay. Well, what it, I know what I saw in your game that I like, but why do you play basketball and what do you love about it? Because I live. I've been playing since I was young. Come on. So I'm I'm talking to Pamarion and Kenyon Ken, Keenan last night. They said they had been playing together since they were five. When did you start playing basketball? I don't know about ten. Ten? Just been in it, fighting. Yes, sir. Okay. It's my guy right here, y'all. It's my guy. Trey. What's up, Trey? Yes, What's happening? He, he cool. He cool as the other side of the pillar, y'all. Trey, what you what you love about basketball, man? Everything. I feel like that's all I got to make it out. Okay. What what do you what do you do on a daily basis to stay on the path to help you get out? Sometimes I go put some shots up. Sometimes I go put some shots up. I just go to the gym and go to practice and work out. Okay, that's solid. That's solid. So last night you guys played by Delia. I, I'm gonna start with, with. Can I start with you, bro? All right. So first quarter, I think you had six, eight points really quick. What did you see to help you be able to put the ball in the basket early? I gotta start moving fast. I start jumping. Bro, you move pretty solid for a big guy, man. You, your your feet are pretty good. You. you just effort, or have you done some footwork training to help you get better? Did some footwork. Okay, okay. Trail, long, range. What, 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 what helped you last night? Um, my, my teammates helped me move around, put me in a great spot to get great shots. That was up. CJ, CJ, you guys went up to, y'all went up by 15 points or so. Coach played a lot of kids last night. Yeah. What did you see in the first half that helped you guys get to a, a, a big lead in the game? Man, boy, they 
the attitude, you feel me? The way them boys went out there and played with each other, the boys, they locked in, man. Like, what they were supposed to do. Right, right. When when you think about it, Trey, you were a big part of what Coach Davis did last night. Uh, you guys were able to speed them up, which was a part of what Coach Davis wanted to do, as well as you guys created a lot of turnovers for your team to turn it into offense. How much fun did you have last night turning the other team over? It was a lot. I like doing it. I like playing like that. Okay, okay. Can we get into a little, a little district questions? Um, right now, and, I, and I'm just on the outside looking in. Just on the outside looking in. I, I don't know all the nuts and bolts of it, but it, it used to be Mangum. Uh, no, it just Raven. We were up in the other team. I feel like we would we'll be. Yeah, we're going. We, to me, we can go undefeated in this. In this. Yeah. That's the mindset we got. That's what Coach Davis said. He said y'all are, are pretty solid, holding each other accountable. Uh, coming from a place of not playing for two seasons, technically, during COVID, and then you get Coach Davis. Y'all don't have the greatest season, but you start to see bits and pieces of what can be good. What has helped, you know, what's one of the things, Trey, that helped y'all turn – the program around this year? Mm. Not really. Mm. The scene, I don't know. I feel like they want it, so I'm going to help. It's really the scene. It's really doing everything. It's really dedicated. So the team just follow up and do what they do. Mm. It's like everybody, everybody play their part. Like, if you know you're a defensive player, you can't go score the ball every time. Do your part. If you know you can go score the ball, go score the ball. If you know you can shoot the ball, shoot the ball. Do your part, we're gonna win. CJ, I'm I'm gonna tell you this, bro. God and the truth. That's what basketball and sports are. All right. If you do your part, what you excel in, and you accept that role, you're gonna be phenomenally phenomenal. Yeah. Trev, what what what's been good about having Coach Davis as y'all overall leader? Coach Davis, he he a good per he helped us do a lot. Like we been in the gym all summer. He'll look out for anybody. He help he help us do anything. <laughs> right. What 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 was summer? Did did you participate? I know you played football and you probably had some football responsibility, sugar, over the summer. But did you participate in the basketball summer workouts as well? Yes, sir. How how much fun was it going to Northwest and competing in the yes, team sir. camp there? Yeah, fun playing up there. Fun, big court. Get did you get to play on the big court? Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Um, let's see. What's next for you guys? Next, next, next. Di uh, well, that one district starts this coming week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. What day is that? The seventeenth. Who y'all got? Yeah. Again? Yes, sir. At Vidalia this time. Easy game. Easy game. So you don't think they're gonna learn from their mistakes? Nah. Nah, I mean you know they're gonna try to come back harder, but we got we got some more stuff to put in. We ain't, we ain't used all our stuff last night, all our plays and stuff. Yeah, I ain't even finished. I ain't even started off the first half. They just used it. You hear me? I just got in second half. They did. They stuff without. I ain't hear me. Hey, hey man, I love the confidence. I love the attitude. I love the energy. Uh. I don't know if we need to say nothing else, man. It's one game at a time. I'm, I'm going to say that, though. One game at a time. Um, great job. Keep listening. Keep paying attention. Keep following Coach Davis's instructions. And the, the biggest thing that I heard about you guys yesterday was you're holding each other accountable, and that means the world to Coach Davis because he said that y'all didn't have a lot of that his first year. So thank you guys for taking a moment with Off the Bench Sports. Remember, get off the bench, get into the game.